Good morning, St. Francis. Good morning, people of God. It is Monday, the seventh day of August, 2023. Monday of the 18th week of the year, the 18th week in ordinary time. And I am in Terminal 5 of London Heathrow Airport, uh, waiting to make my connection to Dublin uh, for the Societas Liturgica uh, meeting. It happens every two years in some um, kind of um, the distant foreign place, except last year or the last two years. Uh, two years ago, it was at Notre Dame, uh, but that was during pandemic, and so we had to do it online. So the first one that we have back in person since 2019, when we were in Durham, uh, the original Durham uh, in, in England. Uh, but um, as you can see, uh, Terminal uh, the Terminal Five is incredibly busy, as it usually is. Um, it kind of makes Atlanta look like like nothing, but Atlanta is the busiest airport in the world, they say. But when you look at T5 at London Heathrow, it's kind of incredible uh, to see this passage of humanity you know, all over the world happening here. Um, but our readings for today on this Monday, the 18th week of the year, 18th week of ordinary time, um, Book of Numbers, we open up uh, today, and it is basically Moses wanting to give up uh, because the people of Israel are just too too hard to handle. They're just too much to handle, and they are complaining now again that um, that there is no meat. Uh, they have been eating the manna, you know, which they make into loaves, and they can eat that, and it tastes good. Uh, but there's no meat, which again wonders. You know, again, the manna was it a source of protein for these people? And again, it's like how was God understanding protein uh, back in the ancient world and whatever it is? But uh, there's no meat, and so they keep complaining that they would like meat because they had fish and they had meat in Egypt and again they look back at what they had rather than looking forward to what it is that they will have uh, when they enter into the promised land and so uh, Moses wants to give up because the people just keep complaining and complaining and, and then God kind of gets angry um, and it's just this whole kind of thing where Moses is caught in the middle and does not want to be caught in the middle anymore um, again the question is always how many of us want to give up many times because of what it is that we experience and what it is that we're going through and what it is that we think that you know God has led us to which seems to be a dead end End, and is it really? Um, again, we know the end of this story in that um, Moses does enter into the Moses, Moses doesn't enter into the Promised Land, but the, but the people of Israel do enter into the Promised Land, and life has changed forever for them because of the relationship with God. But at the moment, um, things seem tough, and it doesn't seem easy uh, for Moses to be able to continue uh, to carry on this. Um, and kind of just, he sort of just left with the statement to God, basically kill me because I haven't done what it is that you want me to do, and it's not really working out. Uh, so we'll see where this goes. Uh, in the next couple of days. In the Gospel today, we have another reading, uh, we have another uh, feeding episode. Again, the people um, have come to listen to Jesus and they've come listen to his preaching. It is growing nighttime and uh, you know, the apostles are like, send them home because uh, they haven't had anything to eat all day and they're going to start getting angry and we don't know what to do with them. And as Jesus says, feed them yourselves. And all they have are uh, five loaves of bread and two fish. And again, the feeding of the multitude, feeding of the 10,000 uh, occurs. Uh, because again, God does not want us, you know, to go without. God does not want us to be able uh, to not accomplish what it is that we set out to do, and who it is that we are asked to be, and what we're, and what we're called to be in this world. And so God provides, um, in the same way that God will provide for the Israelites in their quest for meat. God provides for these people who have listened to Jesus all day um, and feeds them and with an abundance. Again, that is overflowing. Again, the question is always is trying to understand: ours is a God of abundance, a God who basically does even more than we would expect, a God who does even more than we could imagine, a God who does even more than we could ever anticipate. Again, looking for the God of more, and you know is the part of the challenge of being a people of faith, of being a people who dare to believe in a world of doubt and confusion. To look for that more um, is our mission, is our challenge, to be able to find God um, in the abundance uh, that is around us. If we just open up our eyes to see it. A blessed day, St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord give you his peace.